Hello photographers, today I'm going to share with you the best and most secret keyboard shortcut in Photoshop that I've ever come across. And the reason it's secret is because I was looking for this shortcut forever before I finally found it. And it refers to the brush size. And this is such an important shortcut because we are constantly resizing our brushes in Photoshop. Whether we're using the actual brush tool on a mask or to paint or to do something else like that. Whether we're using the clone or the healing stamp tools and we want to change the size or the hardness or maybe you're using using the dodge and burn tool, we constantly need to change the brush. And everybody is used to the good old fashioned bracket shortcut, right? Where you come in here and you're pounding and you're pounding and you're pounding to change the brush size. But that gets really old really fast. In addition to that, if you want to change how hard the brush is, you got to do some keyboard acrobatics by you holding the shift and doing the brush or coming over here and taking your hand off of the mouse. It's a great shortcut but it's not really that great because it makes you stop what you're doing. This shortcut that I've got is amazing. So here's how it works. In order to very quickly and very easily change your brush size and or hardness in Photoshop, hold down the control and the option key and then left click on your mouse and drag right and left to change the size or up and down to change the hardness. And that's it. It is so seamless. It's beautiful. I love this shortcut. I use it constantly, but I could not believe how hard it was for me to learn how this shortcut worked. I saw it in videos on YouTube all of the time, but nobody explained how to do it. They were just like magically changing the brush size. So I wanted to share this trick with you because it has saved me probably hours of time and frustration in Photoshop. Now, in the comments, let me know what is your favorite Photoshop keyboard shortcut. And if you have any questions about Photoshop or anything else, let me know down there as well. And then like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification button to make sure you don't miss a single one of my videos. If you really like this video, maybe share it with your friends. But whatever you do, you better get out there and take some damn photos so you've got something to use this shortcut on in Photoshop. I'll see you on the live show. Thank you for watching. Now, I get loads of questions and they all boil down to one thing, which is how do I make my camera do what I want it to do? And here's the thing, your camera is like an instrument and you can't make music if you can't play your instrument. If you want to learn how to play your camera like the instrument it is, visit this link right here to check out my guide to shooting in manual mode video course.